um, I have been working on feta cheese today. On a, and I'm actually doing a video on it, but time I want to go live while um, I'm doing this part of it. Um, I have actually put my feta, I brought my milk to 86 degrees. I put my feta, feta starter in here. And then I've actually put my remnant and water in there. And it has sat for, it was supposed to sit for 12 hours. It has sat for 14 hours. Hey, when you get through catching up the live viewers, uh -huh. then just kind of pause for a second and talk like you would if we were just videoing this. Okay. Um, so anyway, now I'm at the point to where I need to cut the curd, and then I'm going to put it in some cheesecloth to let it drain. And let me know when you get um, ready to do that. Part, that. Okay. But um, anyway, I'm going to kind of do it the wrong way because I'm supposed to cut the curd while it's in this pot. I think I can take it out of the pot, and I'm going to cut it on this cutting board here. And I'm supposed to stir it around this water, I mean in this uh, way, but I really don't want to do that because... Um, I don't want to stay up late. I don't know. But you look how I've never had it do like this. You see how that looks? Gosh, it looks good. It, it, it looks like feta cheese. It does, don't it? Yeah, the consistency of it. Kind I of guess looks, I ought to do it in the cutting. Yeah, you ought to do it like I you're supposed to. I follow directions. Okay, now. All right. All right, so let me say what... All right, so what I'm going to do after this live stream has posted... Um, I will download the video file and edit it, and this will actually be a segment, not the last segment, probably with the second to last segment of the feta cheese video that Patty's been working on. Does that make sense? So it's going to be a little weird for the next couple of minutes for our fan, for our live fans, well, and we have there. 11. Come on up, come over here. I know, but what I'm saying is you're going to be talking not like we normally do on live. You're going to be talking as if you're just filming this yeah. for an edited video, okay? So here we go. Everybody be, everybody, oh, hey, everybody be quiet. <laughs> Action. Okay, now the cheese has, was supposed to set for 12 hours. It actually set for 14 hours. Um, I, we ended up going out of town, uh, to Jackson. But anyway, so now it is time for me to cut the curd. So I'm going to cut the curd. You're about to cut the cheese? I'm going to cut the cheese. On video. Okay, let me uh, turn this light on. Hey, everybody. Patty's cutting the cheese. See, I can't even see it. Oh, let me pick it up and show them how it looks. You see how that looks? It looks like feta cheese. It really looks cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. But but I've never had it being around like that. I mean, y'all, it's perfectly round. So I'm just gonna get to cutting. So it's weird. It it with it being round like that, it's almost as if it shrunk, like okay. like a layer formed in yeah. to you know that conformed to the pot, the shape of the pot, and then it shrunk or drew up. Yeah. It's odd how it does, and I'm not, I had a cutting board out of here because I really thought seriously about taking it out and doing it on a cutting board because it's so floaty and stuff. And but the instructions said to cut it in well, the, I'm supposed the to, way. Well, I'm supposed to stir it. You know, that's why in the way. Like to break it up a lot? Or? I don't know if it's to break it. don't say it's to break it up. So you're just trying to get the big pieces. Yeah. Cut into smaller pieces. It smells just like uh whey though. I smell the whey. That's a big old piece. You wanna taste it? Yeah, I probably don't taste very good at this point, huh? Probably don't have much taste. Mm-mm. -mm. Can taste the whey. But see, I gotta put that in cheesecloth. And then I'm going to do it right again tonight because it's going to have to hang all night long in the cheesecloth. And I'm only supposed to do it for about four hours or until it quits dripping. So, so what are you going to do? Maybe it'll quit dripping. I'm going to let it hang all night because I'm going to go to bed. But maybe it'll quit dripping before I go to bed because i gotta, I got to wind down a little bit. Okay. Now, I got that done. Let me uh, get a spoon. And it just said to stir it. Let's see. 
gently stir the curds on and off for the next 20 minutes. Oh no. Yeah. Well, we're not going to stand here for 20 minutes, are we? No, no, I'm not, because I'm not going to do that either, but I hate to do it different, but I'm going to do it Patty's such different. a rebel. She don't ever follow instructions. I'm going to have to do it different. So, anyway. Y'all remember this. This is where she I'm broke, breaking the she's rules. breaking the rules right here at this stage I, I just, because it's bedtime. Yeah. And it would have been fine if our plans didn't change and we... We went to Jackson tonight. I guess I'm gonna need to pour this in here though. I don't know if this bowl's big enough to catch all that. I think it is. We're about to find out. Drum roll, please. See, had I kept stirring it, I think it would have broke it up more. Yeah. I don't know. I may be messing it up a little bit. I don't know. We'll see. And I only did two quarts of milk because this is my first time. I could have done. Hey, can I have bar somebody's hand, please? Come, somebody, come hold this for me. Um, could you could you put it in the fridge to keep it from being room temperature all night? Um, I guess not. Not until it stops. Hold it on the edge right here, baby. Not until it stops dripping, huh? Well, I mean, I would have to rig up something in the fridge to catch the drip. Yeah. I want to get all the goodness out of it. Okay. Now, like I said, y'all, I, I bet am, it's not going to drip too long. I am breaking the rules because I was supposed to stir that for 30 minutes. And 20 minutes. Finished. 20 minutes, yeah. Now, I'm supposed to hang this cloth. Let's see. Place it in a tight weave, butter muslin, or dishcloth. And then you hang it, draw it up together, and you hang it. Where are you going to hang it? I don't have a place to hang it. You don't say to squeeze it, it says to hang it for four hours or into no more drains. And then, so tomorrow I'm going to, hand me that little thing right there. That little thing right there? Yeah, the, no, the little, you can hand me all of it. Yeah, go ahead and hand it to me. I'm trying to keep the camera. Um, I wanted to show y'all this. I got this from Cultures for Health, too, I believe. I can't remember where I got it from, actually. Mad Millie. But um, this is a little, this is for feta cheese for when you do the brine. And I was wondering about, uh, I thought, well, that's not very big to be putting it in there. But look, this is going to be just the right size for when I do my brine to uh, have my feta cheese in here and it just will sit right down in there for my brine. And that's where you're gonna put the salt and everything and it, it'll, and it says on the instructions that if you're doing raw milk, that you do it for 30 days, you age it for 30 days and for fresh milk, for pasture, I mean, yeah, not fresh milk, for pasteurized milk, you do it um, for less days. Just like, um, what did it say, four to five days, but for raw milk, you do it 30 days, so I don't know mm -hmm. why you do it so much longer, so. And I always remember it says to avoid aluminum. Better to use stainless steel, which I'm sure this little thing is aluminum, but it, uh, it did you're just a touch You're my, just a rule breaker. It did touch my cheese, and I'm going to wash it off right quick. It's just because of what it'll, uh, what could happen. But yeah, it looks like it is. Uh, maybe it's going to quit dripping. Because well, I, I squeezed it. It didn't say I'm supposed to squeeze it. Rule breaker. Gosh, a lot of it came in there, too. Let's see. I just want to see what it looks like. See how dry it looks. Yeah, it's pretty dry. So. Oh, well, maybe I should mix up my brine. What does it say? Hmm. Maybe I ought to mix up my brine. What do you think? Whatever you think. It's bedtime. Well, I got to do something with it. Yeah. Taste that. I can see how that's going to taste like feta cheese. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
when it's salty. It don't taste bad at all, y'all. Mm -mm. So, okay, now I'm gonna mix up my salt solution. And that is supposed to be a half a gallon of water and a third of a cup of salt. But I could have actually done four quarts. Oh, there's a drip. I yeah, it ain't, uh, I, it ain't gonna be through dripping. You, it's, I mean, if they I tell you you done, need to hang it for four hours. I could have done, as y'all been squeezing it. I could have done four quarts of milk and I didn't, I did two quarts of milk. And so I know I don't need this much brine, plus I'm gonna be putting it in my little thing like this. And so I'm gonna mix up, let's see what I'm gonna mix up. It costs. So you're gonna break another rule? No, I'm gonna cut it down, cut mm. down the recipe. Um, I'm gonna mix up, let's see, it says calls for a third of a cup of salt and a half a gallon of water. So I need to reduce that down. Don't look at me. Let's see. I don't do math. Hey, Kayla Britt, come see, please. All right, we got to think about this. Um, my math genius. Come see, Kayla. Oh, my gosh. This is Kayla. <laughs> and we're just talking about how we're math people. So, <laughs> um, all right, I have a, th I need a, th I have Oh, you a can't do that to me. I can't do those. <laughs> you can't do fractions? <laughs> no. Oh, all right, well, help me think anyway. It calls for a third of a cup of salt. And I'll cut that down by three. So, what would that be? That'd be nice. Corey, you can probably do that for it. Okay, so if I cut it in half, it'd be half of a third. What's half of a third, Tommy? Corey? <laughs> a half like a third? A measure, half like a third. Of a okay, let me show you what I do in these cases. <laughs> this kind of not going to be helping me. This right? is going to take a lot of editing. <laughs> Oh, we're all live still. Aren't we? Yeah, we're live. Hey, y'all! I forgot. I forgot. I was thinking I was just making the video. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to. Um. I'm gonna just visualize that this is a third. I'm gonna take a third of a cup and re and only give it put a third of a cup of salt in it. And so then. <laughs> Am I making any sense? Kids, don't try this at home. And then, oh wait, the gallon. What, baby? 11%. 11%, Corey? Oh, that helps a lot. No, that's not, oh, that would be 33%. But that was a good way to think of it. Okay, now that's my third of a cup. Let me think. I didn't think this out. Yeah, like Bandana Grandma, and we, we're up past our bedtime, That's yeah. which is probably why we're half delirious. A, a half a gallon. There's eight cups and a half a gallon. And, uh, right? I don't know. Eight. So it's eight cups and a half a gallon. We're not going to eight. We're going to eight two times. This is a pen. Take a picture of the cheese. Hey, listen. Three, we're going to eight. Three, we're going to eight. Six times, six. No, no, no. Three, we're going to eight. Two times. Two times three is six. What are you doing? Two point. What were we dividing into? I don't know. <laughs> you taking a picture of the counter? And that dead banana. I ate part of that banana today. Okay. Let me think. Two, two, two. So two cups. Two, 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 four, six. That leaves me two cups left to divide by three. Two cups left to divide by three. Would that be a third, three-fourths of a cup? Three-fourths, three-fourths of a cup. No, that wouldn't be right either. Anyway, that's probably close enough. Okay. Well, why don't we, since we're, since we're just, I got to do all this editing anyway, why don't we ask our YouTube fans? Yeah, well, let me just get my phone out. What's the question? We don't need right. decimals, though. All right, here we go. All right, I got uh, it's eight cups of water in a gallon, but I want to reduce it down by a third, just to a third of that. So eight divided by three equals two point six six. So two and say two yeah, and somebody a half pointed that up here. Well, two point six six is more than two and a half, but yeah. So I'm gonna do two and a half cups. Tommy, they'll spin around and shake. No, in a half a gallon, uh, eight cups and a half a gallon bandana. Uh, she may have, Patty may have misspoke. Hey Sherry. Okay, what? There's Sherry popping in. Sherry, you're her? Yep. Too? She could have helped hey, you reduce Sherry. it. Yeah, 
Right Green Gable says two and two thirds. Right. Yeah, that's right. Two and two thirds. Okay, well, let me do it the right way. Where's two thirds at? Right there. Oh. Y'all, I'm sorry about this camera work. <laughs> and for those of you joining us late, we're we're gonna download this this live video after it posts, and it will be an edited segment in Patty's feta cheese uh making video sherry's been trying to sherry patty's been trying to it, listen it's past our bedtime we're delirious and patty was trying to figure out what uh a third of eight cups would be okay but you know what but we we think we've got oh let's don't confuse the matter it's two and two thirds no, I'm not talking about this. Is it? Oh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna visualize. Math does not work past 10 this p.m. This was your idea for me to. I was gonna shoot this video, and it was your idea to go live. Yeah, it was. Okay. Let's see if we're dripping still. This is my cheese. This is two quarts of milk made this little bit of cheese, but it's okay. You know what? It should be up here like this. Yeah, somebody had said get a string and uh there we go. Yeah, you can just do that. There you go. I'm making my brine right now. You can quote me on that, bandana grandma. What on what? Alright, we need to stop talk we need to quit interacting with uh I'm gonna stop answering comments or commenting because it's go I'm gonna edit this and it's gonna be weird. Alright, I've got my two and two thirds cup of water because I've reduced it down into just one third of the amount that I was supposed to have. And I'm adding in a third of a cup of a third of salt because I'm reducing down the recipe. A third of a third of a cup. Yeah, a third of a third of a cup. There you go. Okay, so. Approximately. Approximately. And I have my cheese here waiting for no more drips. This is gonna this might still be too much liquid yeah it's too much liquid way too much we want it to be totally submerged in. well that's okay just put it in the sink or something or get that big white bowl up there i'll put it over this and let the water come out you know i think it's dissolved Do you put it in there in the thing or just in, in this do you put it in the in there in the cloth or you no, take it out of the cloth? I take it out of the cloth. Oh, there was a drip. Okay. Once your drain curves in a clean jar, add the brine solution and screw tight store it. Okay. Now let's see. It's a nice pretty bowl of cheese. I'm trying to get all the little pieces off my cheese cloths. Mm. Okay, now here we go. I put it over that just to make sure we don't overflow to that. It's going to overflow some. There we go. It didn't, overflow. didn't overflow at all, did it? No, but either. Okay, let me you got to put that lid on there. Ooh, that is salty. I'm excited. Okay, y'all. You're not supposed to break it up in there. You're supposed to just leave it like it is. It says, place drain curds in a clean jar. Add the brine solution. Screw on tight lid. Stir, store in the refrigerator. Y'all, this is my first trying of feta cheese. I'm so excited. And it says that it's supposed to sit for raw milk. It's supposed to be in the refrigerator for 30 days. So, we'll see. All right, I so, doubt it's going to stay there that long. Yeah, so yeah, I guess we'll try to remember that we'll we'll do a final segment or a different video. I guess probably a different video because um, unless you can wait thirty days to put a video out. No, I can't. <laughs> so, All right, so thanks for watching. Yeah, thank y'all for joining us, and 
I gotta go relax for a little while while I go to sleep because I am up past my bedtime. My bedtime's ten o'clock. <laughs> Bye. Good night.